Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tip in Practical Sheets. I'm going to show you today how to do an automatic number sequence. Several ways of doing it using some of the functions that Google Sheets brings us. What do I mean by a number sequence? Its name says it, but let's say I'm going to have a table of students or, or products or product references or anything and I want to have a consecutive number an ID a key however you want to call it a reference so let's say we have here a reference and then the first one is one then two then three then four then five if they were just five then there's no problem what happens when it's 500 and I always have to put the next number sheets has an autocomplete feature where I can give it the first two numbers and just select these two numbers. Look at this little blue square in the lower right corner. I could click on it and drag it down. And when I do this, Sheets automatically detects or guesses that I want to do a sequence of these numbers so it says okay you have one and two and then you want to keep the sequence three four five six seven you could also do it by pairs For example i have here two and four and then i select these two and then i drag it down and then she says ah, okay you want to have a sequence but adding two two plus two plus two plus two plus two this is useful but it's still very manual and i would have to do it every time so i want away so that I don't have to do it again that it detects automatically so the way to do it is with the formula sequence normally I would have here some other field for example name and I have here John here Juan and Mark and Steve Maria so again I would do it manually or I would do it with a bit of help of sheets. What if I don't want this help and I want to do it automatically? Then I would use the function sequence. What sequence does is here it says returns a grid of sequential numbers. In its most basic form, I just I'm just going to give sequence a limit number. When I set to sequence the number four, and then I close. What sequence understands is that it has to count from, it will start on one and then begin adding one until it gets to this number four. So this is what I want. It's very easy. I just did sequence four, that's it. What happens when I start to add more people? Then I would have to go here and change this to six. What if there was a way to dynamically establish this four or this six? Well, there is actually. I have this formula count A. Count A, if I give it a column like this one, and then close it, will give me seven. And if I subtract one, then it will give me the number that I want. Here it was six. In the case where there were only four, it was four, and that's it. So I will copy this and put it here inside my sequence. To erase this, and what will happen is that if I add new here, Carolina, then it automatically will add the new number and that's it i could tweak a bit sequence and add some other things for example let's go to our sequence help i could add a uh, where do we start and how many steps do we add up what do i mean for example i want to start not in number one but in number five for any reason so i'm going to have here 
The second argument will be my column. I will leave it at one. And this third argument will be my starting number. Let's say I want to start at five. So it starts at five or at 10 or at 55, whatever. And then the other argument I could add is how many steps down. Remember that I told you that sheets automatically detects if I want to add two by two or three by three, then it's the same here. I could say add three each time. So the first one is 55, the first one is 55, the second is 58, the third is 61, and so on. But given that I want to start in one and just adding one, then I will leave all the arguments in one, and that's it. I will leave it like this for you, so that if in your particular case you need to start in another number or add more than one, then you can do it. If you put zero here, then you leave it all in the same number. It's not useful in the case we need right now, but it could prove useful for a specific case. That's it. We could do this with other ways, with array formula. There are other more complex ways, but I like this one. Simple, and it shows us the, uh, it, at least it serves as an introduction to this sequence formula that is not very used. I like it. It's handy in situations like this. So thank you so much. You'll find the template to this and all the videos in the channel in my Patreon page. And if you like it, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Thank you so much.